So we got a car that's driving itself. It's going to go pick up somebody. <laughs> We're inside a car that's driving itself. So it's pretty cool. We hopped in like, I don't know, what was it, like 600 feet back or so? And they, they, they went in and they activated the autonomous feature and they just told it to go to pick somebody up. So the car drove itself. <laughs> we didn't run over anybody or anything. <laughs> no flyaways. <laughs> Light and ideas are always advanced. BMW M4 Concept Iconic Lights. The future never looked brighter. Feel an unprecedented trust. The camera system detects narrow passages far ahead. The narrow passage guidance light laser marks the exact vehicle width on the road and shows whether you can pass through it. <laughs> Oh, I love it so much, dude. You have no idea. Hi, I'm DR Ponzu, and we're back here with BMW to talk about BMW's alternative charging methods. I'm here with Julian, and uh, do you want to explain what we're standing behind here? Yeah, absolutely. I'm more than pleased to. So what you can see behind us is our BMW iSolar carport. Um, it's a concept that we already have shown a few times. Um, for us, it's key to make um, clear that we as BMW believe in a holistic story. So the charging with renewable energy belongs to us as a topic for electric vehicle. And with this carport, you see, I get a very nice impression here yeah, that solar charging is something that we really want to support and that it makes really sense. And here on the CES, first time we present this with our home charging services, with our BMW home charging services. And this means that solar charging gets fully integrated into the charging process of the vehicle. Nice. So, how many kilowatts are they actually producing right now? So, you have uh, here 3.7 kilowatt peak. Yeah, and um, you have nice class class modules, and with these modules, you get they are very durable. But you also get very nice design effects. Unfortunately, it's uh, night now, but during the day, you have great um, lighting effects if you're under the carport. Right, and uh, man, that's beautiful. <laughs> How did BMW make? solar panels look so good. <laughs> <laughs> so here we worked uh, with uh, Design Works, yeah, um, BMW Design Works, to create this nice design here. Yeah. And what you can see as well here, the structure, this is out of bamboo, yeah, and um, you also have carbon fiber walls here at the side of the carport, and thereby we really create a very impressive design um, aligned with our vehicle. And you can also see an energy storage in the back, because we want to make the story, story a holistic story. So if, like now, no sun was shining, you could get energy back out of the storage to charge your vehicle. And about how long on the charge time for the i3? Yeah. So this depends a bit how much the sun is shining, right? Yeah. But if we say we have a sunny day like today, it would last six to seven hours to really get the car fully charged again. Nice. Well, I appreciate your time. Yeah. and uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, hi. My name is Josef. We have here an inductive charging system for the i8. That means we do not need a charging cable anymore. It's done without cable. We have for the charging system a ground a plate on the ground. It's called ground plate. It's 60, roughly 60 by 80 centimeters uh, large, and it uh, is producing a magnetic field. And we have a pickup coil below the, on the low side of the car, which is much smaller, that picks up this magnetic field. And uh, by that, via this air gap of uh, about 10 centimeters, the energy is transferred. So, is that come standard on all I8s purchased? They're available to upgrade to the inductive charging, or is that an add-on feature? Uh, probably will be an add-on feature. All right. It go as said. It's fully automatic. When you uh, drive to the parking position, you get on the screen within the car. You get an aid where to drive, and the feedback that is uh, that you are in the right position. You must not be very precise, so it's a tolerance about 10 centimeters in each direction, so it is very easy to find the right correct, uh, uh, position, but you get the feedback and the rest is done automatically. You don't have to worry about charging anymore. 
Uh, it is always charged. When you come back, you have a fully charged car then. And what are we looking at on the charge time? Is it down from the cable or is it up? Now here uh, we have the same charging power as for a cable. Uh, so it has 3.5 kilowatts. It's the same that you can charge from the wall box uh, into I8. Alright, well thank you Josef and I really yeah, appreciate welcome. you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Pox here at the BMW booth and uh, we got Martin here. He's going to explain um, what, what are we seeing here? Yeah, BMW is showing remote valid parking assistance at the CES. So this function actually um, does the, the, the whole parking for you. You drop off your vehicle at the entrance of the car park, you press your smartwatch, and then the vehicle does everything for you. It goes into the car park, uh, looks for a parking spot, drives around obstacles, and parks in the parking spot um, more perfect than you could ever do. So is this um, something that's going to be available on the current model that's shipping, or is this uh, the next model, or how, when is this going to be available? So this is a prototype that we've, we are showing. But we do see that this function will be coming in our cars in about 2020, in about seven years. About seven years? Awesome. Yes. Um, and anything else about this? Um, so these vehicles also have included uh, collision-free driving. Uh, in case you are close to an obstacle, are going to hit something, uh, it makes sure it breaks just in front of the obstacle, so you're not able to hit anything with the vehicle as if you're driving in uh, low speed. What what kind of what kind of speed is it running at? Um, is it just uh, up to like five miles an hour or something? Or um, usually, if we're driving in car parks, we're driving with about 10 kilometers per hour. Um, yeah, so that's this the, the our typical speed. Right. So Martin, um, so how is it doing the the autonomous driving? I mean, what kind of sensors is it using? Yeah, so we did put laser scanners in this vehicle to monitor the surrounding. You see one over here, uh, that's one of the four laser scanners, each uh, on, one, on each side of the Eagle One. And those have a huge opening angle and you see really wide, like 200 meters, to be able to see all the obstacles around the vehicle. How many are in the vehicle? Um, there are four of those on each side one. There's four on each side? Oh, okay. One, one, one on each side, four at all. Um, I know on some of the other vehicles they have cameras that are also doing, is there any cameras on this as well, or is it all just the lasers? For the parking, we only use the lasers, but we do have additional sensors in the vehicle to be able to do highly automated driving with this. So we also have cameras and radars in this vehicle to be able to drive on the road also. How far how far out can the laser sensors read? Yeah, those sensors have a range of about 200 meters. About 200 meters? Yes. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I'm here with BMW's Benjamin, <laughs> and uh, we're inside the i3 and uh, we're going to check out some of its cool features. Okay. Yeah, so this car is capable of not crashing into obstacles. So we have the idea that when there are sensors coming along with highly automated driving, that we can also give the driver a uh, safety plus. So the idea is, if you're driving around a parking garage or something like that, and uh, you overlook obstacles, the car would automatically brake so that you could not crash into the obstacles. So this I can show you right now. So let me back up a little from this cube. So I'm gonna hit this one over there, forward straight, and even if my gas is on the, my foot is on the gas, as you can see right now, the car would not crash into it. And the special thing about it is that it gets really close, but shortly before it hits it, the car would stop. And then this is where the box actually is inside of it. Right? Exactly, so these are the uh, series uh, park distance control sensors and they tell us that we got really close to the obstacle. So this functionality works 360 degree around the vehicle. So if I back up now and see in this camera, uh, in this rear view camera, this other cube, the car will prevent the collision. And you weren't, you weren't hitting the brake, your foot was No, no, my foot is, even if I have the foot on the gas right now as much as I want, I won't be able to hit it. And also, uh, another use case would be that you're driving around the corner and you cut the corner to sharp, which we can do right now. In these cases, the vehicle would also brake, and if I steer away from the obstacle again, the vehicle will open the brakes and would let me go drive. Seeing the fence, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. All right, well thank you, Benjamin, and I appreciate your time. Absolutely, you're welcome. BMW, I'm super impressed.